One of the downsides of the Protestant Reformation is that it came just ahead of the Enlightenment. And those two factors came together in Northern, Northern European history to place the emphasis on being human on the individual. Prior to that, people did not think of themselves as an isolation from others. They thought of themselves in connection with others. The New Testament does not understand individualistic Christianity. Get saved and go to heaven. There isn't anywhere in the New Testament, well, the, the thief on the cross, excuse me, but you understand that that's, that's the odd text out, as it were. The goal of salvation in Paul and the rest of the New Testament is to become a part of the people of God. Not to become an individual so that God can populate heaven with as many individuals as possible. The goal is to create a people who in their life together reflect God's character. When I start the chapter, Paul the Spirit and the people of God with it. Man sitting in front of his television set turns on and sees a television televangelist and the altar call is given and he accepts Christ and then he never is connected with it. All he does is sits at home and watches this televangelist. My question is, is this man saved? How in the world would you ever even ask that question? I ask that question because that's the real question. Is that man saved? The answer, of course, is God only knows. But he's not saved in a biblical sense. Not once. You aren't saved until you have to rub elbows with people that are different from you. Only then can we tell that you're really saved. 